Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Louise and I have a 21 year old son and a 25 year old daughter who doesn't live with us. My dog's chipping down. Here's Dale. You want a biscuit? And there's Jip. Oh, he does, do you not want a biscuit? Oh, poor Jibby Jip. Do you want a biscuit? Okay. I do a Wednesday vlog, which is a random vlog, and I always do a Saturday haul. If you enjoy this type of content and you enjoy this one, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Help me grow my channel. Here is our Saturday haul. I went to Asda. I did get something from Tesco oh, Toilet Roll. It's not. It's not on here. I always give you a quick update of the shopping trip. I know it was never a thing normally, but it is now. Absolutely normal. Uh, nothing to talk about. The the shelves were pretty stocked. Uh, everyone was wearing masks. There's no markings anymore. And there's no real rules particularly. Just wear your mask, that's it. So yeah, it was a good shop. I uh, was tired because I just finished work and this is the only way I can do it now. So it was a very strange shop. I think the thing is, before all this, I would, because I work in town, so I would just take my rucksack and pick bits up daily. So I literally would go in, into the shop like five, six days a week and just pick up a few bits. But because of the the lockdown and having to just go once a week, I've tried to keep it a thing now. And I realised that I'm, I mean, I am, I have been like getting extra bits to stock up every week anyway, just in case, because we don't know what's going to happen from week to week. So just in case, I want to make sure we're stocked up. But I, I'm shopping better, I guess. We're not getting through anywhere near the amount of food that I'm buying. Let's get on with it. Okay, so if you've been in here before, you know I don't particularly meal plan, but I am decided we're going to have a roast dinner. Managed to get this chicken. It's the big tasty one. Normally four fifty, but I got it for two seventy nine. That was the reason that I thought of a roast dinner tomorrow. Onions were out. I've got most fresh things, and I have been getting a lot of frozen things, so there is not much fresh going on here because I've got it all frozen. Potatoes were only a pound for a big bag. Bananas, sage so and onion stuffings go with the roast dinner, obviously. I got a smaller milk this week because I think because of the heat last week, we didn't particularly eat or drink a lot. So we've got a lot of leftover milk from last week still. I've got a smaller one. Cherries to go in the freezer. I've got two coffees. Uh, I go through about one a week, but I haven't bought it for a couple of weeks and so I don't want to get low just in case again. Always pick up a cheese whether we need it or not. Can never have too much cheese. And I was completely out of my butter. We've got quite a lot of frozen bits this week. Again, if you've been here before, I always get, for my son, he always has pizza, chips, and southern fried chicken things. Didn't need to get a pizza because he didn't eat that. Like I said, we've just not eaten so much this week. So he's got his chips and his southern fried chicken bits that he absolutely loves. He wanted to change things up, I guess, and get pies. I've been eating a few hash browns this week. We eat, like, they're really good in a sandwich with like sausages or something. Just really good. And I've also been having, I bought these last week, wasn't sure if I'd eaten them before, don't think I had, but they're really, really nice. Again, I had that in a sandwich, you know, just didn't have any buns or whatever, but it's really nice and really, really filling, surprisingly. Lollies, weather's got better. There was actually a choice of lolli lollies. Spirals, they are, what flavour are they? Just a fruit spiral, doesn't say. Just super fruity flavours, okay. A mixture. Fruit pastel lollies and the knobbly bobbly was on a deal, two for three pound or one ninety each. Haven't had these since I was a oh, young kid. Um, I do like to get uh, pop noodles, but I won't pay full price, I only get them when they're 50p and they're 90p at the moment. Never tried this before. It's the Naked Noodle. Don't know if anyone's tried this. Chow mein flavour. It was down to 60p. So it's worth a try. Oh, my apps. This. I was so excited. I'm not a massive desserty person. But I've never bought a dessert platter, ever. And then I saw this. I saw the price. Scanned it just to make sure because I didn't believe it. Okay, I don't know how much you think. How much do you think? Comment below before I tell you. Or should I not tell you? No, I'll tell you. Okay, that was a pound. 58 dessert platter. 58 piece dessert platter. 
22 mini cinnamon donuts, 12 mini eclairs and 24 mini chocolate brownies. A pound. And it's a big, it's a massive box. It's really big. I've got to try and find some space in the freezer and that will be kept for Christmas. Rich tea biscuits just to go in the cupboard without vinegar and I've just got some tins just to stock up because like I said we've not gone through much and it saves running out of things later on when we do need to spend the money. Spaghetti hoops, beans, got some tuna chunks, sweet corn and some petit pois. I haven't had them for ages. These, these aren't new, they've got another one. So the brioche bun, I, I never really had brioche buns before. They had one with onion in it and it's really, really nice, but they didn't have any this week. And Corey actually really liked these ones. I thought we'd get them for a change because we're going to have burgers. And they're 90p, which I thought was pretty good. Always get Corey a Dr Pepper. And the Snacker Jacks Caramel, never had them before. What do you think? Are they any good? They have three flavours in the Snacker Jacks. They have the salt and vinegar and the chocolate one as well, which I've had them a lot. I'm not really a cam caramel person normally but you know as you get older your taste buds change thought i'll give it a go and that's what the bananas were for i must have seen it on instagram i do like watching the, uh, food things on instagram i think somebody must have had snacker jack caramel with bananas on and it sounded really good so that's what the bananas were for just got uh, the crisps Corey usually has these on pasta and i just got two just because like i said we'd, we'd not bought that much uh, these were reduced to a pound Corey likes those I'm not into chocolate at the moment. Now, I know there's two packages of chocolate, but I'm not. Corey likes white chocolate. So he's got one to try because they're new and the limited edition. And I'm really not into chocolate at the moment. I didn't get any last week. Still not in, no interest, but they're new and I want to try them. So I got a packet to go in the cupboard because I don't know when I'm going to be eating chocolate again. And yeah, just to give them a go at a pound. Yeah. Loaf for bread and diet drinks. I've had some real trouble with my energy levels this week. I know people, some people have this whole issue with these. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to explain it. I'm not justifying my purchase. I'm going to buy them regardless. It doesn't matter what anyone else's opinion is on it. I'm going to. I have really, really bad um, energy levels this week and I just like them as a backup. And I don't drink them every day, I don't drink them all day, I certainly don't drink them and then sit down because they're not designed for that, they're designed for you to be doing. And that's a, oh, it's an eight pack. That will probably last me a good six, eight weeks. Like I literally will just have one when I really need it. Now I'm, I feel like I'm justified it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just letting you know, that's what I do. And I'm going to purchase them anyway. Just because I know people have this whole issue with energy drinks and I do understand it, but I'm still going to do it. So that came to... 40 pounds and 50 something p my budget is 60 so it was well under oh plus the toilet rolls from uh tesco's were nine pack two i got two packs because i've got an upstairs and downstairs toilet and they were one pound 90 for nine pack which was really good i find them the best value so it's for me it's worth going to a different shop because money is getting a little bit tighter Corey still hasn't found a job yet and you know it's hard out there right now you just you know we've got a budget where we can budget so we've saved a little bit of money this week and they'll go in the pot for when a bill comes in that we can't afford things you have to do now yeah i hope you enjoyed it was a weird one and i know it was a weird one and i say that i tend to say that a lot i don't know what a normal shop is <laughs> it's a normal shop i will see you on wednesday bye